this is Dino. Welcome to my channel. I am back to show you how I'm putting together my Christmas movie uh, watching kits. Um, this is what they're going to look like. Just super simple but sweet. And um, yeah, I just absolutely love how it turned out. I'm going to go through what I put in and how I put everything together. These little boxes I showed this morning. I purchased these from Amazon. And these are six by six, and it came out to be a very perfect size. Now, it also came with these little tissue paper. It was a little bit bigger than that six by six, and I wanted it to lay flat in the bottom. So, I decided that I would just kind of fold up the edges. That way, I can just have it lay flat down in the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this. This is uh, like some scatter or whatever. I purchased this, I think it dies so months back. I'm going to put this in. Now, the Hallmark watching kits, of course, came from Carla Gets Crafty. She purchased, or she, she's the one that started making these. I saw her make them. I made them like two years ago, and I just decided, you know, I'm bringing them back this year. Um, she posted the other day a video of hers, and hers were looking fabulous. So, anyway, so this is just how I'm going to do it. Okay, so got my box, got a little bit of prettiness down in the bottom. So these are going to include, um, they're going to include some fuzzy socks. And I purchased these at Walmart. They were like a three pack um, for like, I think I paid like $5 for the, the three pack. So I'm just going to take it and just kind of roll them up. It helps to position them in here. And I'm just going to use some of this ribbon. I'm almost out of this sheer ribbon. I've really used, this is like the second spool. That's what I got left. But I'm going to use the spools for something else. So I definitely am not going to toss that away. Okay, so I'm going to get, you just kind of want to make your, put your little socks in here. Try to make them a little neat. I've just been tying mine, putting a simple little, bow on here and there we go just super simple so I'm going to add my socks in I'm going to be putting I have old little red and bucker mini bag of popcorn it's going to go and it fits right perfectly down in here then I have two packs I'm going to put two packs of Swiss Miss hot cocoa it's going to also include this Milano dark chocolate cookies and it's going to what did I do with my other tissue I'll stop for a second to find it so anyway I have these tissues I think I purchased some they were like a six pack a long time ago at Dollar Tree so I'm gonna add my tissues and then I'm going to be adding in a nice handful of these peppermints so you've got popcorn, cookies, hot cocoa, some tissues in case you need it, fuzzy socks, and you've got some sweet, sweet peppermints. And then, a couple of years back, I had made these buttons. And y'all, I didn't sell very many of them when I made them and put them in my craft fair that year. I think that maybe I just didn't display them well enough. So I pulled them out and in each one of these boxes, I have been putting a button in here. And I thought it was cute. And this one I found, this is my favorite color, is Christmas lights. And I thought it was just perfect. So it's gonna go in here like this. And then what I've been doing, of course, you've got to add a little bit of something in here. So I've been just using some of this the sprinklets. This is Santa's treats. And I'll just add those in. And then you're just going to close up your box. The sides just fit right down in the sides. Let me get that down in there. See, this box, it, it just worked out perfectly. I'm so glad I ended up going with these. And I'm glad I didn't go with like the smaller 4x4. Four four. Okay, so it just fits right down there. There's a little tab. I want to make sure that I get this down here. There we go. So now it just fit right in. So then um, on the back, what I'm gonna do is I cut, I 
use my Cricut. I did a print then cut and you can use Microsoft Word in your computer if you want. If you don't have a computer, you could handwrite. And y'all, I just realized I didn't have my other light on. I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, I'm, this is just what I did. I put kit includes cozy fuzzy socks, one pack of microwave popcorn, two packs hot cocoa, one pack of Milano cookies, one Kleenex pack, and soft peppermint candy. So I am just going to adhere it to the bottom of the box or the back of the box. This is the front, so I'm going to put it on the back and I'm just going to, that way then it can be flipped around and you can see what's in it. Okay. I didn't bother with layering up. Y'all know me, I'm a layering up type of person, but I didn't layer up on these and I don't know if I should have on these these right here um okay so let's i'll show you the tag in just a sec but let's put this on this is the uh, ribbon i'm going to use i think i got it at hobby lobby or something not really sure um, i think it was hobby lobby so i just want a little piece enough just to fit across or i could tie a knot okay and then I want to put, kind of put my knot kind of off to the side. I'm not going to really make it a bow. I'm going to make it like it's off to the side. Now I want to be able to hold it in place underneath the package. So I'm just going to use some of these like little sticky thumb, sticky dots that I have. I've had these in my stash for a real long time. So I'm going to kind of leave it down here. I'm going to just okay, put it, put one at the bottom and, and I'm going to put it where it's about right there. Oh, and you know what? I need to move it over just a little bit. I want to make sure that it's in the middle. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to just tie a knot. And I didn't want to like put it in the center because I wanted people to be able to see kind of what's down in the little kit. So now I'm just going to tie a knot. Tied on. Let's flip it over. We want to be able to see the cute little Santa. No, got that. And then I'm going to put, this is the tag I'm going to put. This is my Hallmark Christmas movie watching kit. Now, I purchased this part on Etsy, okay? It was like a 99 cent download is what I did. And, um... I don't, I'm not really sure if I can link it below, but if you just Google or if you just go into Etsy and type in Hallmark Christmas movie, tons of different things come up, okay? So this one was like a wrap for a for like a mug or whatever, but what I did is I took my Cricut, put it on my Cricut design space, and um, it had Christmas movie mug, Christmas mug or something like that on the bottom, and I didn't want mug on there because I'm making it like a kit and so I just took just took it off and then I added watching kit on there and then I spliced it all together made it a print then cut and that's what I did so then um I didn't layer up I just kind of think you know I think that they're okay I'm not I mean it's against my thoughts of I, I layer up everything but I think I'm just gonna not layer up on this and I'm just gonna poke myself a hole and then I'm just gonna utilize this jute ribbon I'm gonna tie this over here and just tie a little knot And then I'm going to just put, put it 
do this little hole that I just punch. It's like an eighth inch. It's pretty small, but I'm gonna try to get it. There I go. And then I'm just gonna tie it. I really love how these turned out. They're sweet and simple and um, easy to make. And I just think that it just turned out really, really cute. Okay, so there, I'm just gonna tie that, tie a knot, and then there we go. And then, that way then, it just kinda hangs off. You can still see what's inside. It's super cute. The box can be used for something else if you want to. I think I might put like a little Christmas sticker or something over here, but I'll do that a later, later time. But that is what I did. How cute did they turn out? I absolutely love them. So um, let's talk pricing. Okay, so I kind of decided how I was going to determine um, how much I'm going to charge for these by breaking down all my supplies. So I bought the socks at Walmart. I got the three pack and they were like $5 and some change, okay? So I'm giving myself $2 for socks. The Kleenex came as a six pack from the Dollar Tree when the Dollar Tree was a dollar. And I used one in each pack, so I'm gonna give myself 20 cents for the Kleenex. The popcorn, um, I broke it down. There was 12, 12 in the pack, I believe the box was $4. So they came out to like 33 cents for, each, for the packs of popcorn. The hot cocoa, um, there was 60 or 50 in a box, and there were, um, there's 50 in a box, and I paid six dollars at Costco for it. So I gave myself 12 cents for each one, so that's 24 cents for the hot cocoa. Um, I paid 13 dollars for the cookies, and so there's 30 in the pack, so it's 43 cents for the cookies, and then I just ran just estimated about 20 cents for the pot um the peppermint so that came to three dollars and 40 cents and then the box there was 36 i believe in the pack and i paid 21 dollars and it came out to approximately 61 cents for each, for the box so that's not bad at all so that comes a little bit more than four dollars and then i'm going to add in ribbon my tag and my paper uh, for five fifty, so I think that I'm going to sell these. Um, I think I might go twelve, thirteen, or thirteen dollars for these. Um, let me know what you think of these, or if I should do fifteen. But I'm thinking that um, maybe thirteen dollars might be a really, really good deal. Let me know what you think. I really do value your opinion. I like your advice on some of these things. Sometimes pricing is the hardest thing um, that you can, that you have to go through. And so anyway, but yeah, I think they turned out so cute. You can just lift this up. You can see what comes inside. See that? And it just turned out cute. It just really did. And um, oh, but I did not allow myself the 99 cents for the download from Etsy. But anyway, I think that I've got it all covered. It doesn't take long for me to make these. It doesn't take long to put them together. You know, I just made all my tags and everything like that. So anyway, that's it. I hope you guys like this. Um, and I, I really enjoy making this. And yeah, definitely go over and check out Carla and her channel and, and hers as well. Um, her tag looks a little bit different than this, but there are so many SVGs on Etsy that you can purchase for like a dollar. So anyway, yeah, just go look on there and you can just purchase them and just print them out. But anyway, that's it. I think the only thing I might do is maybe add like a little Christmas sticker over in the corner or something. Maybe something over here or maybe something right here just to seal it closed. But I'll do that. I'll do that um, after I'm getting them all done here. But anyway, have a great day, y'all. Thanks so much for coming back by my channel. I appreciate it. And I'm going to go in there and start cooking some dinner. I picked up a honey-baked ham yesterday after I went to the doctor. And I, so I have this a small one and I'm going to make some broccoli and rice casserole and I'm going to make some corn casserole and some green beans to go with our food. So I need to get in there and get busy on that because it's going to be six o'clock, six thirty before we can eat if I don't. Anyway, have a great day. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.